I remember when my guitar teacher played me Van Halen 1, the very first thing I heard was the opening bass line to Running With The Devil. I was nine years old and I was hooked. Michael has influenced millions of musicians. He is an incredible bass player, undeniable vocals. I don't know how many times I've been in a studio where someone said, you know, give me like a high harmony, something like Michael Anthony would do. And I always thought to myself, good luck with that, because no one could do that except for Michael. That's for sure, right? I've known Michael for many years, and aside from being a huge fan of his work, he's one of the nicest guys in the business. Michael is the party and always has a great time doing what he loves. He goes out of his way to make his fans have a great time. And when that Jack Daniels bass comes out, you know the party's gonna begin, right? <laughs> all right, all right, let me, let me go through some of Michael's work. And you guys, I wanna hear these screams. Here we go. Van Halen. Van Halen 2, Women and Children First, Fair Warning, Tiger Down, 1984, 5150, OU812 for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, Balance, Van Halen 3, Chicken Foot, and Chicken Foot 3. Fuck me! Ladies and gentlemen, Michael fucking Anthony! Sally and Vegas from Rocks Magazine. You know, it's kind of funny because I'm sitting down here watching and enjoying the show. The show, what a great show, huh? That Sally does here. Yeah. Fucking great. You got everything from West Cage, Great White Magic, it's all covered. But anyway, I'm sitting out here and I'm thinking, hey, the American Music Awards are being held tonight in LA. Yeah, I was like, okay. And then I start thinking, well, 30 years ago, we won an American Music Award in 1984, Van Halen, right? But then I'm thinking again, and I go, what's missing now from that stage tonight? Rock music. I mean, you're not hearing any of that shit that we did back then on that stage tonight. They can have all the one direction that they can handle every night because the real shit's happening here in Vegas. for doing this and for keeping it going five years, ten years with the magazine. I mean, it's amazing, you know, promoting the local talent and keeping the rock alive, keeping it out there for the people because, come on, that's what we all grew up on. You know, with so many great bands growing up inspiring me. It was a great time playing with Van Halen. We had everyone from Cream, Humble Pie, Hendrix, all these people influencing us. And uh, <laughs> before I forget, I just want to... I just want to thank some of the people that inspire me every day or whatever. My family, Sue, my wife, my daughters, Elisha Taylor, and my new son-in-law, Billy. Thank you very much. I love you guys. My tech duty, who's here probably retubing an amp somewhere, he's been with me for 34 plus years, making me look good on stage. Everyone does duty, you know? And then, and then I, last but not least, I would like to, they're out there, I'd like to thank Eddie, Alex, Sammy, Dave, and Gary, because along with them, you know, with them, they've allowed me to have a great, awesome fucking career and life, doing what I love to do, and continue to do, and I will continue to do, and that's playing fucking rock music, man. Thank you guys, you guys, keep doing it, all you guys out there, keep fucking doing it, thank you.